Chris just gave a very cool presentation showing lots of applications of LIDAR and he also gave you a lot of the background so I don't need to cover that anymore. Uh, so we basically will go straight into the software. Um, it's not a hands-on but it could be and if you like what you see you can just go uh, to rapidlasso.com and download the software if you want to try it at home. Um, that's a web page. The software I'll be talking about today, LAS tools, and here's the download. You just click here and you download the software. It's about a 20 megabyte, 21 megabyte download. And when you did that, you have a, you have a um, folder, uh, a file called lastools.zip. And let's see what you get when you do that. So you, <clears throat> yeah. this is a file you would download, lastools.zip. It the version you would download is only 21 megabytes, and this is when you then look in there. There's one folder in there with all these contents. This is where the programs are. The bin folder, bin like binary. You go in there and that's where you find the actual last tools. Having a quick look into this, you see a lot of readme files and you see a lot of individual programs. All these last zip, last tool, last split, last sort, last precision. Last tools is organized as a whole bunch of little modules that each module does one thing very good, or two things, or three things. Um, and to implement a last tools based pipeline, once you're an advanced user, you will then basically string a whole bunch of these modules together to accomplish a more complex task. But in the beginning, you will usually use one tool to do one task, and then when this is done, you use the next tool to the next task, and so on. That's, and uh, I'll show that in a second. What, what else is in that folder? Um, well, if you if you work with ArcGIS uh, and you're very familiar in ArcGIS, then you can sort of uh, try out last tools through the toolboxes. There are four toolboxes provided, um, and you just add them to ArcGIS, and suddenly ArcGIS has kick-ass lidar processing capability. Um, so I'm having ArcGIS. 9.3 still, so it works with 9.3, 10.0, 10.1, 10.2. Because I don't really use anything of ArcGIS inside that toolbox. But once you add the toolbox, you basically have all these tools that are part of last tools inside of ArcGIS. Um, there are also something called production tools. Uh, I call them production tools because they don't work just on a single LIDAR file, they work on entire folders of LIDAR files. And then there's something called last tools pipelines, and that actually takes a whole bunch of last tools and puts together a pipeline um, and does multiple things. It basically goes, for example, here, it goes from raw flight lines all the way to a DTM and a, and a DSM. So you all, all you do is you give it a, well, let me just. Uh, Double click that as an example. So all you, all you do is you give it the input folder where the raw flight lines are, and you specify a tile size. Most of the time the defaults work just fine. Uh, a terrain type and the step size <coughs> for the output rasters. And then you say on how many cores you want to run. And you put an output directory and a temporary directory. And then you say, okay. And then it'll just run in the background calling one last tools after the other. Um, this is also documented through a model. So if you want to see what actually happens, I created for every pipe, almost every pipeline also a model. I don't know if you know these, uh, the model builder. But uh, th this is sort of a visual representation of what happens <coughs> behind the scenes. So you see it uses last tile, last ground, last to them. 
Um, the models are also included. They don't often work in a, other, in a different version of, of ArcGIS. So that's why I have both models, but also scripts. And the scripts are much more robust. They work across all the uh, ArcGIS versions. The models seem to, seem to not uh, be very compatible. OK, if you use a QGIS, then you can find the same thing. Um, there's also a last tools toolbox for QGIS. And it looks pretty much the same thing. It's not quite as complete as the ArcGIS um, toolbox yet, but that will change uh, this summer. And in this case, there's again all the last tools. The last tools pipelines and the last tools production. And there are only three tools right now, the three most important ones um, that you need for production because I haven't uh, had time to write all the other scripts yet. Uh, the nice thing, if you are in Q or GIS, you can use all these other things um, um, that uh, are all open source packages and, and combine combine last tools into longer pipelines that go all the way from LiDAR to the products that Chris talked about. Because there, um, there is a... <coughs> Is a ton of packages in here, and if a package isn't in there, you can easily add it using the um, processing framework of QGIS. And finally, there's a whole bunch of example batch script. I told before you can batch script last tools, they are in here already, and most of them you can just use as is. You just need to change some file names or maybe some parameters. They're also very well documented, so in a way, they serve as another tutorial.